Have you ever felt like maybe you did all the things that you were supposed to do that society expects of you, only to feel that something was missing? Even after you hit various life milestones, have you ever caught yourself wondering, wait, is this really it? There has to be more than just this, right? Have you ever felt like maybe you weren't cut out for what our society defines as a normal, conventional life? But what if I don't know what I'm missing? Am I missing anything? What if we aren't missing anything at all and maybe right now, the universe is calling me to enter the next chapter? Why am I being pulled into this unknown direction? And why now? I don't want to let my dreams fall by the wayside. There's something in me that's pushing me towards something else, a life that might look a little bit different than my peers, a life that might look different than my families. And I just know that I was meant for something more, something more than what I have been doing so far, something that is unfamiliar, something a little bit different. What if you look back on your life only to realize that you never really actualized your full potential? What if you end up reflecting and thinking, wow, I never really tried. I never really gave it my all. I was always too afraid to fail or too afraid to think about what other people thought of me. The saddest realization would be that you didn't truly allow yourself to live, to truly thrive, because you were so afraid to fall or what other people thought that you really ended up not living at all in your life. Many people are so easily discouraged because learning anything and pursuing what you want is extremely difficult and extremely discouraging. <laughs> it's so difficult. I feel like it's a constant mental battle where you're fighting yourself. At the end of the day, it's not even about comparing yourself to others. It's, it's you versus you in the ring. I don't know if it's the rise of social media, but it seems like we're surrounded by young entrepreneurs who got rich doing their hobby and now seem to make a million dollars and they're only 22 years old. Why does everyone seem like they're on the Forbes 30 under 30 list? And is that even something that I even aspire for? It's hard because I feel like when you want greatness and when you want success, you can't help but notice your surroundings. You can't help but pull out the yardstick to see how you measure up because you're wondering, am I doing the right things? Am I making the right moves? And I feel like people who are concerned with their success, they're going to be aware of that, maybe too self-aware of that. And it's a double-edged sword because we can use that to drive us and propel us forward, but it can also cause our gears to be spinning at a million miles an hour and to create that spiral in our head. Going all in doesn't mean to abandon adult responsibilities and to act recklessly without tact or strategy. Going all in means putting all of your extra reserve energy or what would be the free time that we have that would otherwise go to waste and applying it to yourself and to your goals. Whether it be writing that book, signing up for that kickboxing class, Honoring the commitments to yourself, it means still taking the time to invest in yourself, even if it's only for an hour a day or even 30 minutes a day. Because as we get older and as we have more responsibilities, obviously it gets harder and harder to have free time, especially once you add kids into the mix and all these other responsibilities, parents getting older and things like that.
I spend most of my time alone, and that's okay. It's a beautiful day in New York. It is so peaceful here, Sunday mornings, walking Benny. I feel so grateful to be able to wake up here. I think you realize that you choose to invest in yourself and invest in your future and invest in your success. And that means you're gonna be spending Friday and Saturday nights alone sometimes, or maybe for even years, because it takes a great amount of sacrifice to get ahead. As a multi-passionate individual, ugh, this is just so difficult for me. Right now, I feel so much guilt because I haven't been pursuing my painting, I haven't been playing guitar, I've mainly been video editing, but at the same time, we have limited resources. We only have a limited amount of hours in the day, and most of us probably work full-time jobs, like myself, right? Really, I just, I don't have the energy that I did in my 20s. I don't have the energy anymore. And so I have to be more selective with my time. I have to also be more selective with the people that I surround myself with, the company that you keep right because all of that influences you and it can be a positive or it can really hold you back